This means that this users once I delete one, it means that this user one of them won't be able to access my 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 system. Um, this is this will help you because uh, when you look at some applications, if you select like uh, expiry date, some devices can be changed the IDs or the date, and the file will continue to work. Okay. Now, what if I want to delete a user? What I will need to do is again to select check group manage and then I'll select option number three and then I'll select the user which I want okay now when you look at these users are identified by one user one user two user three what I need to do is uh, I'll need to delete user three if that's what I need now just enter three and they'll select the user who I've selected okay then I confirm with a Y after entering that and we check our configs again you'll see that let me say that you have a client but this client uh, in this his area all what he wants is to use another port maybe let me say port 80 okay or port 600 or any port he wants but when you realize that port 443 doesn't work all you need to do is again to enter v so we are going to create that user having a different port. What we need to do um, is to say group manage or is and then we select add port with option number two. And the port which we need to create is 80. Okay. Then I'll press enter. Now I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I assign that port to the protocol which we need. Now the protocol which I'm going to use is WebSocket. So you enter three then you press enter okay you input your domain name so it's just as usual thank you dot um okay then you press enter well boom now you're going to see that you are having uh, another port being created what we need to do again here is that you are going to create a user having that port we need to enter victory and then we select option number two and then we select add user okay now when you look at this it is asking us the group where we need to where we need to place this user should we place it in group a or group b why is it bringing this because group b is having port 80 and group a users are always having port 443 if you look at this i know it is confusing but if you watch this video carefully you're going to understand it group a is identified with the port 443 and group b is identified by the port 80 so that means if you keep on adding ports they'll go on with group b group c group d group b like that now since since we need to add a user to group B and we want a user, since we add, we want to add a user with port 80, I will select group B. So by entering B. So if I enter B, you're going to see that it is asking me the email which I will need to use. So the email which I'm going to use here is a, maybe I can say maybe Scott Chichi. Any email you need, as long as at gmail.com there is no connection between this domain these email providers and this system now the user has been created and if i say check config you're going to see that um, um group b is having user one and user two okay group b is having user one and user two but if you look at group b tls is closed now we have to go through the same procedure so that we can we can open TLS for them. All you need to do is to select option three, modify config, and then you select modify TLS. Okay. Then you press enter. Now I'll need to select group B because if you look at TLS of group B, it is crossed. Now I select one, open TLS. And I'll select one again and I'll enter the domain name. Okay, 
okay now we are done with adding uh, with the open tls of that client of that port what this what this means that if you go back and check configs of those clients you see that tls is now open hope you can see that so it's just a, a, a reverse call forward and backward steps which you need to go through so that you can have uh, this system running properly okay now we are done with that and uh what you need to do in the next step we are going that we can manage we can see the statistics of these users okay let's do that very quick what you need to do is to check uh what you are going to do now is to check the statistics of these users the uplinks how they are navigating the users the, the users and uh how how much data they or how much traffic is going through our server using these ids which you've mentioned what you need to do is um to select a uh, global setting which is option five and then you set a v traffic statistics and then what you need to do is to first open statistics so the status is false because they are not open what you need to do is to first open them so this is the one time step so you don't need to do this over and over the next time we need to check statistics we shall only enter v and then we say global settings sorry global settings which is five and then vitre statistics and this way round we shall already say three check statistics okay check user statistics which is option number three when you look at this since i haven't used this system by any user you're going to see that none of these users is has used any total you can see the total is zero the uplinks and the downlinks are already zero as uh, zero but if you if your users are using your system you happen to see the updates of this okay that is then i can select clear hope you uh, just appreciate that by now you're still watching this video and don't forget to click the subscription button and uh you're going to get more and more so feel free to let me know what i've missed and if you're doing you guys and i hope you have enjoyed this video we meet in another video god bless you